Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest and another episode of Cool Linux Tools. Well, if you're like me, you've got multiple um, communication apps or chat apps that you use. And just to name a few, uh, some, some more well-known apps are um, Skype, Google Hangouts, and of course WhatsApp. And while all of those are you know fine for communication, none of them fit the bill exactly for what I was looking for. And I found something called, uh, well, didn't find it, but to heard about Telegram through the Linux Action Show and decided to give it a look. And it absolutely fits the bill and then some for all of my communication needs. And I'm so impressed with it, I wanted to share it with you and feature it as one of the cool Linux tools episodes because specifically it has a native Linux app and that's one of the things that I was looking for in my main communication uh, application so with that said let's jump into telegram and I want to go through some of the features with you that um, some of the features I just never even thought about and from a security standpoint some of the features are to me just uh, spot on so first of all, again, this is completely cross-platform, so it works for Telegram, uh, iPhone, iPad, Windows, of course, and then native applications for every platform. And to me, that's key there. I wanted something that would run native on Linux, and I'm thrilled with what the app looks like, the nice, clean interface uh, within Linux, and we're going to take a look at that as, as well. Now, I know with WhatsApp, as well as Hangouts, um, that you can use that through the web browser but again that's I wanted a native app and this covers that base for sure but telegram also has a web version so if you prefer that method um, it's available so let's go through some of these uh, main features here what can you do with telegram um, well they mention connect in remote locations and I hope that's the case um, <laughs> to me that's that's kind of a given, but uh, at any rate, um, the other thing that was really stand out to me is apparently you can coordinate with groups of up to 5,000 members, which is kind of staggering when you think about it. And then the other key feature was that you can synchronize your chats across all of your mobile devices. And I suspect many of you out there have, you know, a phone and a laptop or a desktop PC as well as a, a tablet in many cases and so to have that communication synchronized across all of those devices to me is key now this one uh, this next feature here uh, I never even thought about and it and it wasn't something that um, until I read this really mattered to me but here they're they're stating that you can send documents of any type so um, and then from a security standpoint, you can encrypt your personal and business secrets. So if, if you're having business communications for insider trading, for example, um, you could encrypt that. But the next feature I think is just as you know, cool as can be, which is you can set a timer for the message to self-destruct. So um, you know, whatever you're uh, wanting to keep secret, you have ways to do that within Telegram for sure. Um, then they have a, uh, a cloud storage uh, portion of Telegram. And then the APIs are open. I thought that perhaps this was an open source program, but it is not. However, they have made the APIs open so that you can use those uh, APIs to, to build your own tool sets. Um, so for me, this covers all the bases and then some. Um, now let's jump over and take a look at the actual native application for Linux. Um, I had a conversation with uh, Rocco from uh, the Big Daddy YouTube channel and it just so happened that he had Telegram installed but uh, you know he didn't really know anyone else that was using Telegram so I was able to reach out to him right away and we had a little chat about this and again I really like the, uh, the native app and what I noticed uh, was that as soon as the message came through on the PC. It was popping up on my phone exactly as it should. The interface is clean and um, it, it's fast. And so, so far, really, really pleased with this. Now, I'm going to jump over into some settings. And before I do that, though, I'm just going to pause the video for just a moment so you'll see a slight pause and then we'll be right back into settings. 
I just want to make sure I'm covering up some of my uh, personal info there. Okay, so we're under settings, and what you would see if you were to scroll to the top is you'd have an option to put a picture in where your avatar is. Um, you'd also see your phone number and that kind of thing uh, that's associated with your Telegram account. Um, and then you would come down here to some of the options we have. So under notifications, you can toggle on or off desktop notification, show sender's name, show message preview, play a sound, include muted chats in the unread count, and you can also use native notifications. So if you have um, sounds set up through your system that you like, you know, using particular notifications, um, then you could go in and set that up. Under general, you're going to see an option to update automatically and then show the uh, system tray icon for Telegram, which we have here. You can scale the interface, and uh, in order to make that change, I would do it, but in order to make that change, you have to restart everything, and I just don't want to do that now, or restart the app, and I don't want to do that now. Uh, under chat settings, you can replace emojis, and there's a list here that uh, you have options from here, and you see the various uh, uh, typed commands, and it'll give you an illustration of what emoji you'll see based on that um, you can also um, choose a default download path. And then you have some options for uh, sending the chat. So you can send by enter or control enter. And then you can also set up automatic media download settings, reorder uh, sticker packs. You can choose the uh, messaging background that you see over here. Um, and then you have some security features. So you can turn on a local password. You can also enable two-step verification and show all sessions. So here you've got some connection type information and manage local storage as well. Now this is, let's see here. Let's go to, I'm going to close this out. I want to make sure if I didn't list it. So this is version 0 0.10.19. And I'm going to list um, the web page link for this as well as and I think maybe from the page you can download directly from the page if you're running um, an arch based distribution through the AUR you can simply type telegram and you'll find it there otherwise I'll list a link uh, for downloads for Linux in the uh, in the video as well alright so let's look at the system tray so from there, if you right click, you have a few options. You can, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. You can uh, open Telegram, minimize to tray, disable notifications, and completely quit Telegram from that standpoint. So for me, um, this I think could be my ultimate communication device. You know, again, the fact that it works on everything, um, that means that my friends or business associates. Uh, whether they're running iOS devices or Android or, or Mac or Linux or Windows, then um, you've got one communication device that allows you to share uh, files of any type. And then you, you add to that all of the security features. And for me, I think this is the best, most well-rounded communication tool um, that I have, have seen yet. So I wanted to share this with you. I hope this helps. If you um, are already using Telegram or, you're, um, or you start using Telegram, uh, simply you know, post a message there in the, uh, in the video messages. I'd just be interested to know how many people are using this that, that watch Linux Quest and that kind of thing. Uh, again, very impressed with it, impressed with the speed, the security, so on and so forth. Hope this helps, and we will check you later.